Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time on Let's Play Superstar Saga against Popo and the Rookie. Okay, so I'm going to attack Popo first because if you defeat Rookie first, then Popo will just run away and the battle will end and you get nothing for dealing with him. So I want to defeat Popo first. Rookie on the other hand, will not just run away, even after defeating Popple there. And whenever you attack Popple, Rookie will counterattack with two of those hammer throws, but they're easy enough to dodge, so don't worry about it. Haha! -ha! Now, I could use the original version of that, or, or of that Bros attack to deal more damage to Popple. But I'd rather deal more total damage between the two of them than just defeating Popple. Alone, that is. So let's keep on going with more bros attacks. I might run out of bros points in this fight, but if I'm getting low, I wouldn't worry about it because the battle will probably be nearly over by then anyway. Can I have a turn? Whoa! I thought it was a little late on that one. Yeah, uh, Popple, can, if he actually does get to hit you, he can uh, steal, like, a mushroom from you, and then he could actually use that later on in the battle to heal up. So you want to watch out for that. Fortunately, though, the hammers are very easy to deal with. Can I have a turn? Please? I would like to play the game. Okay. Let's see. Keep going after Popple there. Yeah, I think you get just, you know, more experience and coins for defeating Popple first. Well, and whatever he drops. But, yeah, I don't really care about that. So, okay. Let's see. Just the rookie left. And rookie's attacks are pretty easy to dodge. Not just the, uh, what was that? Not just the hammer throws. But, uh, well, he's got another attack. Hmm. I wonder why. Whoa. Thought I might have been a little late on that. That's a spicy meatball. Okay, let's see. How are we doing? I think I got, well, enough for one more. Maybe I should have done the regular version twice instead of doing this once. But it's all right. It's easy enough. Uh, well, now I'm going to have to use the uh, normal version. I actually have to look at the lower screen to uh, remember the button presses that I need. Oh, hey, hey all right. Finished him just, just as I was running out of BP. And for defeating him, we get the Wookiee Emblem A, which is one of my favorite accessories in the game. It is really, really good for us. Okay, so, let's see how we're looking here. Power. Oh, I can actually get three out of that there. Hmm. Let's see. Stash is still at two. Speed is good there. Okay, yeah, let's go for power. Why not? Ha-ha! All right. So, basically, for Mario, I want to put everything into stash unless I can get at least three out of power or speed, which will be pretty rare but uh well let's see luigi's already been doing that so i don't think i can get any more out of anything there so yeah we'll just go for the two power there for luigi unless he can get three or more out of speed and stash there so luigi focus on power mario focus on stash if we can ha ha Ah, what mountain? <laughs> well, we're, you're in the right place. Or you could, yeah, just run away. Why not? Okay, so let's take a look at that rookie emblem that we got there. I'm going to be giving it to Mario there. Let's see. 
yeah, look at that power boost. But it's not just the innate power of the accessory there. You see on the bottom screen there, it powers you up in battle. It gives you the power up status or whatever it's called, which boosts your power by 50%. Uh, buffs only last four rounds in the game. So this will start at the beginning of the battle, but no battle should last more than four rounds at this point. So don't worry about it. I think there's only like one battle that might last long enough for that to wear off. And even then, I, you can probably finish it in time. But all right, let's see. If you go up here, haha, -ha, secret treasure room. Lots of good stuff they got here. And let's see. Okay, so we got blue jeans. Do I care about that? I don't... Oh, well, that's Luigi only. So, and... Yeah, I think I want the speed on Luigi there. There's going to be some pretty fast enemies in the woods. Let's see. Well, we got... Yeah, got to heal up. Let's see what else we got. Hmm? Did I see that barrel move? Hey, hey! I have no idea who these guys are. Well, let's find out. Oh, hey, how's it going? So, you guys are old bean people? Oh, yeah, something like that. What's up? Yeah, we saw them. We were kind of there. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, we knew about that, but it's not here. It's actually in the woods. Oh. Well, then, how does anyone know how to make the stuff? I just thought, you know, we get a few packs of powder and mix it up with water and you're good to go. No? Oh, yeah, I gotta prove my identity, I guess. Oh. Yeah, something like that. Well, what do you mean? I've got plenty of moves. What about the hammer? What are you thinking? Is anyone going to tell me anything useful? No. No, of course not. But, let's see. Oh, okay, I guess I do need high jump to get up there then. Just want to get lined up just right. There we go. Now, let's see, we got, yeah, there's that metal plate on the right there. That leads to the woods there, but apparently these guys have different plans for us, I guess. So, yeah, let's check it out. Des decided what? Oh, okay, I thought we already had a great hammer technique. Oh, okay, well... Sure, why not? What happens if I say no? Ah, okay. Well, we need to learn them in order to advance the plot. So, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. With more tutorial time! So, what are you going to do with the hammer? Oh, a mini command or something. Okay. And then what? Ah. Oh. So it makes you compact. Well, I suppose Mario did become small whenever he got hit by enemies in the original. Well, in the Super Mario Brothers games, anyway. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's going to be like little arches or holes in walls that you can't walk through normally, but if you become Mini Mario, you can! Although Luigi won't be able to follow after you, but, well, we'll demonstrate that in a bit. So, do that. 
So now, yeah, Mario will no longer get pissed off whenever Luigi accidentally hits him with his hammer. So, yeah, we're done with that. Oh, um, oh, okay, yeah, but just do it again. Okay. So what else can we do? He's not the only one who gets to whack people upside the head, is he? Well, here we got the Luigi Dunk move. And... Okay. How does it even work? Oh, okay. So, yeah, this allows Luigi to go under certain objects, usually like those fences we've been seeing up to this point in the game. There's other obstacles and stuff where that could be useful. So yeah, let's switch there. Yeah, the game automatically switches whoever's in front or the rear for that move, unlike the Game Boy Advance version. So we don't even have to worry about that here. So B button, pop out, boom, you're good to go. Oh, okay, sure, why not? You can use a little practice. Okay, I, I got it. Well, let's see what we can do around here. I think there's another treasure around here? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm gonna need spin to get over there. There we are. Hey, hey! More music for the collection. Do these guys say anything else? No? No? Okay. Well, now we gotta put those new abilities to use. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, let's start with Mini Mario. See, we can't walk through that arch there, but you can as Mini Mario. Go over here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So, well, that was easy. Okay, so yeah, let's get out of there. By the way, we got this metal plate on the ground there. The reason for that is so that way Luigi, yeah, you see with Luigi Dunk, he can't pass through that. So that's to make it so that only Mario can go through there. Same thing here, we got the gate, but the other way around. Where uh, Mario could not fit through there, but Luigi can. Let's see, go, oh, I can't get up there. Oh, I don't believe you. I want to hit things on the wall. Well, we got little wall switch there. But, uh, hmm, I can't quite reach that uh, goblet there. Well, if you, yeah, go with Mario, or walk into him, you'll reunite, and then you can go up here to grab it. Hey, hey, all right. So, easy enough little test there. There is another use for Luigi Dunk that they don't tell you about until, well, in the near future, that is... Let's see, you remember all those X's that were being marked on the ground there? Well, if you use Luigi Dunk and you go to one of them and then press the A or B button, haha, -ha, we get a chuckle bean. The fourth and final type of bean to be used at the Star Beans Cafe there. So yeah, these ones you'll always get from those, uh, well, I think technically they're called bean hollows, but I think sometimes various sources will call them bean holes or, uh, what is it, bean spots or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to call them bean hollows or bean depressions, I think one source called it, because it's like a depression in the ground or something. Uh, eh, kind of strange, but okay. <laughs> I like the look on their face. <laughs> well, uh, thanks. Goodbye.
Well, that's... Yeah, that's what we're here for. Where are you guys going? I don't know. I don't think we ever see them again. <laughs> but, okay. Let's see. Alright, so... Yeah, let's go over here. Or go back a little bit. Let's see, I think there's one... Or... Ah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I find an X on the ground. And we get more beans. Now, by the way, some of those bean hollows in the Game Boy Advance version are hidden. I think the only way you can actually tell where they are is if you make Mario Mini Mario, and for some reason that allows him to see where those hidden ones are. You'll see like an exclamation point over his head or something like that, indicating, hey, there's something strange going on here, or whatever. You might want to check it out. But uh, in the 3DS version, yeah, they just make them all invisible by default, thank goodness, because it's, uh, what is it? It is very, I, I can't imagine how you would ever find all those things in the Game Boy Advance version, like, without a, a guide or, or anything like that. I, it's just, you'd have to explore, like, every square centimeter of an area to, uh, what is it? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. There's uh, another one of those uh, Bean Hollow things there back in the boss room. I, I thought it was uh, up front here, but no, I was thinking about something a little later on, but that's okay. We can go back through here. Yeah, unfortunately, there is no, like, shortcut to get through here, or at least not to my knowledge. I don't know. If, I don't think Mini Mario or Luigi Dunk would really help with that but uh okay yeah i was a little confused in that boss room even when i was there before just like wait a minute where where is this damn thing oh yeah and i just assumed the one i found was the only one let's see okay where is this thing hmm okay we got the one on the lower wall and then there's supposed to be one Hmm. Oh, okay. It's in the the room where we found those guys. Let's see. Now? Hmm. It's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Maybe I uh, wrote poor directions for this one. Hmm. I know there's a nut there's a fourth one that you can get around here. Hmm. Oh, I, I think I know where it is. Okay. Alright, let's see. You go up here. Ha ha! There it is. My, my notes said, hey, there's one in the lower right corner there, but uh I was like, what I can't see it there. But then I was like, oh yeah, I remember there's a weird little trick that they got there with uh, that particular one so all right so now you could go into uh what is it chuckle hike woods and advance the plot or we can find more bean hollows how many can we find find out next time on let's play superstar saga this is a chi bailey signing off have a good day